On February 26, 2012, a young African-American boy's life was taken. A lot assumed this was not only because of what he was wearing and what he looked like, but the neighborhood he was in. Hi, I'm Jessica Collins, and this is Penny Driver, and today we are going to be speaking to you about the Trayvon Martin Foundation. We travel all over the country and speak to students just like you about this foundation. Today we hope to educate you not only on the foundation, but the Trayvon Martin case as well. We're going to cover three main points today. Who founded this foundation and why? Donations, how you can donate, where these go, and lastly, long-term goals for this foundation. I'm going to now hand it over to Penny, and she's going to speak to you about who founded the foundation. Thank you, Jessica. I will be speaking about the foundation and the founder of the foundation. The founders of the Trey Martin Foundation is Sabrina Bulletin and Tracy Martin. These are Trayvon Martin's parents. They founded this foundation in March 2012 under the auspices of the Miami Foundation. It was founded due to the lack of being able to have discussions among the United States with other people about the death of Trayvon Martin to educate youth on conflict resolution and to reduce indecencies of strangers turned deadly. Now I will tell you guys two stories of two African American males. This is Emmett Till on the left, and this is Trayvon Martin on the right. Emmett Till was an African-American male who lived in Chicago, Illinois. He went to Mississippi to visit his family, and there he was racially profiled. He was accused of whistling at a white woman at a corner store. Because of this, two white men came to the home that he was staying at, dragged him out of his bed, beat him to death, tied him up, and threw him in the lake. When his body was returned to his mother, he, she didn't even recognize him because his face was so messed up. Trayvon Martin has also been racially profiled. He was just walking home by his lonesome with a bag of Skittles and an Arizona tea. George Zimmerman, who claimed that he was in Neighborhood Watch, had called the police because he felt that his life was threatened. The police told him not to engage Trayvon Martin, but he did anyways. As he did so, they got into a physical altercation where Trayvon was basically winning the fight. George Zimmerman accused, accused him of trying to threaten his life, so he used the standard ground law as a reason to kill Trayvon Martin. Now I will talk about donations and motivations. Actions that have been taken since Trayvon's death are, one, the petition and Trayvon's law. I have printed out copies of these for you all to look at. Okay. So, another two things that have happened is recently there has been a donation of $50,000, which will go to four scholarships for four students at Dade County High School, which is the high school that is on file that Trayvon attended. These, this $50,000 scholarship came from Mercedes Benz, Boys Auto, and a black fraternity at the at one of the colleges in Florida. Also recently, a safety officer in Volusia County, Florida, has recently been fired due to the quote that you saw earlier under our picture, which said, another thug, another thug gone, pull up your pants, act respectful, bye bye thug, rest in peace. How to donate to this organization is through the Miami Foundation where you can mail it in, you can text, or you can do it online. Now we'll pass it back to Jessica. I'm now going to speak to you guys about the long-term goals for this foundation. First off, his parents ultimately didn't want their son's death to be forgotten. For us to be aware that this happens all through the country and what families go through and the emotional toll it takes. And also racial profiling. This happens all over the place. It's really easy to judge somewhere, someone or assume because of what they look like or they're in a different neighborhood that they may be threatened. And in Trayvon's case, this ended with terrible consequences. Secondly, I would like to talk about the Remove Your Stand Your Ground Law. And for those of you that don't know what this is, it's basically saying you shouldn't be afraid for your life. You shouldn't feel threatened. And if you do, you can take somebody else's life. And George Zimmerman ultimately was found not guilty because of this law. It's active in 26 states as of right now, Texas being one of them. So you <coughs> could go to government officials and help remove this law. And lastly, jury duty. Take the time to vote. 
And jury duty can be time consuming, it can go on for days, and a lot of workplaces don't pay you for missing work because of jury duty, but understand that this is where we're gonna make a difference, especially in cases like this, by getting out there and being part of the community and getting your vote out there. In conclusion, our goal today was to make you guys knowledgeable and to educate you on the Trayvon Foundation and the Trayvon Martin case as well. We covered three main points. Who came up with this foundation? His parents were extremely courageous. They didn't want their son's death to be forgotten. Secondly, donations. How can we donate? Where do these donations go? And lastly, long-term goals for this foundation. And I would say overall, we ultimately don't want another tragedy like this to happen. As we mentioned before, there's ways to get involved. You can visit the website. If you have more questions about the scholarship, feel free to speak to us or visit the website. I would like to thank all of you for your time and do you have any questions.